you are his people and the sheep of his master. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is good, his mercy is everlasting and true and good to all generations. Amen. And my topic is why you use what you use when you do what you do when you praise God. What? Why you use why do you use what you use when you do what you do when you praise God? Okay, so there are four things that we use when we praise God. And the first thing is to tell you, make a joyful noise uh -huh. unto the Lord. Don't say go crazy. It doesn't say make a loud noise. It's just the making up time. Make a joyful noise. So it lets you know the first thing you use it is your voice. Yeah. So you're using your voice to praise God. So as you sing it and praise the God, you're making a joyful noise. So you remembering everything that the Lord has done for you. Yeah. You remembering who He is, what He went through for you, how He suffered, how He bled, how He died, how He redeemed you, and how He is faithful, loving, trusting. All these things that you remember what God has done did for you, how He brought you out of the world, and how He stirred you up, how He saved you. I sanctify you. Know, you remember these things. And you remember how he created us. We didn't create ourselves. He created us. He took, he's taken us through and everything. So with your voice that you see praises to God, you remember everything what the Lord has done for you. That's why we can sing the song, but I think of the goodness of yes. Jesus uh -huh. and all that he had done for me. Uh -huh. My soul cried out hallelujah. So you think you remember all what God has brought you from, uh -huh. what God has brought you through. All the way up to this point in time, you remember all the things that you were doing out there in the world and how he watched over you, how he protected you, uh -huh. how he continued to keep you, how things that you could have died from but you did, because God had his hand on you. Yeah. Uh, same thing that you going through, what you were doing with your friends, how they died and the Lord kept you. So you can think of those things that you say in praise and honor to God. Yeah. So that's one of the instruments that we use it when we pray to God. We use in our voice, and the reason why we use in our voice, because as we think about all what God has done for us, the way he brought us from, for how he stirred us up, how he worked on nothing that then we got in moment that he is our shepherd, that he is guiding us, watching over us, and that thing, drawing us, and that he tells us which way to go and that thing, and how to go about, teaching us ways to do things and how to do it. So we think of the Lord these things when we sing praises to him. Uh, and the second thing we use is, is our hands. You know, our hands is an instrument too. Every time we clap our hands, we make music. We make a melody with the Lord and everything, you know. We clap our hands, let the Lord, Lord, we thank you, we pray to you and everything, you know. We make a melody with the Lord as we also use our voice. So as we clap our hands, that's the music, that's music. And that's why, right, you know, when you see back in the day, when we were going up, you see the, the, uh, the senior saints, the mother, they get around clapping. Clapping, clap, 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 Think about how you open the door. Think about how you turn in your body. Think about how you keep me. Think about how you take me through. Think about how you watching over your family and everything. Think about all they do, even with the young people. They can thank God. They can use their voice. They can clap their hands. They can tell the Lord thank you. When people do things for you, don't you? You want somebody to tell you thank you, right? The Lord wants us to tell him thank you. Because this is what he's done for us. Things that we can't do ourselves. We didn't wake ourselves up this morning. God woke us up this morning. Yeah. You know, if he didn't wake us up, we wouldn't be here right now. You got people who wake up and not in that right frame of mind. So we are not right frame of mind. And the young people can tell the Lord, thank you for that. They can say, Lord, I thank you for how you watch over my family. I thank the Lord for how you keep it up. I thank the Lord for how you working these out again for my parents. 
for my grandparents, you know, there's a lot of things that you can today fall for right. and everything and whatnot. And you know, you teach the kids how to tell the Lord, thank you. Teach them how to open up their mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, you know, Lord, thank you for watching all my family. Thank you for how you see me. I could have got the Bible. Lord, I thank you for my family for getting the Bible. Thank you for how you keep the people in the church, Lord. See, that's another way of, you know, telling the the you the instrument by clapping our hands and everything. It was not. You know, sometimes when you get ready to use use the voice of that man, the devil comes right on in to stop you from doing it. But then sometimes when I was growing when I was in the church in the day, I used to lose my voice a lot. Every time I turn around, my voice is gone. My voice is gone. My voice is gone. I ain't had no voice. But it comes down we do the most we can. My voice is gone. Being a message, my voice is gone. Being a secret on altar, my voice is gone. But, but I use it anyway. Yeah. I get up there, whatever little voice I had, I use it. Yeah. And when I continue to use it, God open it up. Yeah. And every day, we get finished, my voice is gone. But I use it anyway. Yeah. So you don't let them me take something away from you that you can use to give God the glory. You know, you know, like me and Pastor say, sometimes when she gets up there, oh, you know, the Lord attack her voice because you don't want you to use it. You don't want you to glorify God. You don't want you to tell the Lord thank you, so you attack your voice. You know, with your hands and everything. Oh, my hands hurt. My hands and my hands hurt. Yeah, I can still clap my hand. I may have got one hand, but I'm still clapping my hand, and I thank God. I can still clap my hand. I can tap on my hand. I clap on my leg, I can still clap my hand. So whatever the enemy try to attack you, you still use it. No, you don't sit there and think that's why I can't do it to my hand. I can't do that to him. No, that's the instrument to praise God. We it's one o'clock. The other thing we do, we lift up my hand. That we lift it up, we worship him. Yeah. You know, we tell the Lord that we worship the Lord, I love you, Lord, I praise you. Even when you're on the altar, you raise in your hand, you surrender it to him. You give it to the Lord, I'm giving it all to you. I'm giving all my problems, all my situations, everything I'm going to, Lord, I'm giving it to you. Lord, I surrender everything over to you. So you surrender everything to the Lord. Don't let the devil say, oh, you know, your arm is too tired, this is too No. Raise your hand up. You can raise your hand up. Raise your hand up. Yeah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Lord, I surrender all to you. Yes, There's nothing I don't want to hold on to. I surrender all to you. Right. Lift up your holy hand. Tell the Lord that that's worshiping him. That's praising him. That's that letting yeah. him know that you love him. And that then you would be lifting up your hands and telling the Lord, thank you. And this is how we pray, God. This is how we worship God. This is why we use what we use in that day. This is why we go through with the Lord the more. This is how we fellowship with the Lord the more. So we show him how much we love him, how much we appreciate him, how much we adore him, how we thank him for all that he done for us. We thank him for who he is and what he has done and what he's he done for us in our lives and everything. Don't just sit there and just go, you know, get into it. The more you put in, the more you put out. As the song said, when the praises go up, the blessings come down. So you can't get blessed if you ain't putting nothing in it. That bitch just said, how you going to put money out of a bank account if you ain't putting nothing in it? You had to put something in it. You got to put something in it. You ain't going to get blessed if you don't put nothing in it. So I ain't going to bless you that good thing. So you got to put something in that blessing. You got to praise him. You got to glorify him. You got to lift him up. He wanted to know how much you thank him. How much we pray for, how much we appreciate him and everything. You know, you can't think there was a Lord no here, but he want to hear it from you. He wants you to open up your mouth Amen. and tell the Lord thank you. He wants you to clap your hands and make another thing with him. He wants you to lift up your holy hands and tell the Lord I thank you. Lord, I pray for you. And other thing is we do when we shout. We use our feet to shout in that dance with him. And I'm going to use that example, you know, if I could have, uh, you see that speed is? I'm going to use that example, just sit right here. Don't stand up. So when we shout, get me. So that when we start shouting like that, you can't let them know that you know people, that you know, I'm not afraid of you, you know. I, I'm, I'm still going to pray, because the way he does is try to stop me. Oh, my feet hurt. 
Oh, my leg hurts. I can't do it. Oh, I, I'm in so much pain. But we keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Then you pick up the pace and go a little fast. Then you let him, then he get nervous now. He get scared now. All of a sudden, you keep going. You got a movement going. You just got a pace going. Then you start getting down. You start thinking about, yeah, I'm going towards God. I'm getting my breakthrough. Lord, give me the victory. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing for me. I'm shot my way to my hill. I'm shot my way to my beloved. I'm shot my way to the Holy Ghost. I'm shot my way to God. I'm shot my way to Jesus. Lord, I'm shot my way through my problem. I'm shot my way through my situation. Then you go a little back. And look at that. Then now he's still getting scared. But now he's going through victory. I'm shot my way to victory. Lord, I know I'm getting my victory. I'm going through. No matter what people say about me, I'm going through. No matter what people think about me, I'm shouting my way through. I'm continuing to keep shouting my way through. Yeah, I'm going my way through. Yeah, I'm praying my way through. I'm shouting my way through. No power in the situation, I ain't worried about it, but I'm shouting my way through. Whatever people say about me, I'm shouting my way through. I may be sick in my body, but I'm shouting my way through. I may not have money to pay my bills, but I'm shouting my way through. I may not have food on my table, but I'm shouting my way through. And I'm shot to my victory. I'm going to keep on to my victory. Then you go a little faster, a little faster. Now he's he really scared. Now the devil's on the run. Because now he knows you're going towards your breakthrough. He ain't shot to victory. He's shot to your breakthrough. I'll break away what he's doing for the Holy Ghost. I'll break him my way through the right here. I'll shot my way through the victory. And you see the Think about the way he had made, and it may seem like no way. 
When you need to figure out how you're gonna pay your bills, so all of a sudden your bills are paid. When you think about how you can't take care of a certain situation, God will work it out. Doors are being shut, all of a sudden doors are open. Ways are being made. You know, think about how all what the Lord has done for you, where he has brought you from. And that the high stirring you up each and every day. I working on you each and every day. You do that to lift up your voice. You do that to go up my God. You do that to think about all of what the Lord has did for you. And you continue to praise him. And you continue to worship him. And you continue to care for him. And you continue to tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And you let the Lord be. See you, they just think and just think, just think on the goodness of Jesus. That's why we can say, with my hands lifted up, yeah. and my heart filled with praise, yeah. and a heart that they give our flesh to your Lord. Because we think of the things what the Lord has done. So when we sing these songs, we know, that, you know, we think about the Lord and everything. These songs have meaning. These songs have a purpose. These songs have a, 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 a touch to you. If you let the song, if you think, of what God is telling you, what God has done for us. Continue to lift the Lord with you. Continue to lift up the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid to use your instrument. He gave you these instruments for a 